well, uh, Cecilia Tatia, and so uh, I would like uh, first like to present my gratitude to Nathan Hill, uh, our gracious host, and I hope that in this uh, in this talk I will uh, I will continue his uh, glorious uh, tradition of grammatical linguistics, and so. Uh, today I'm uh, uh, um, uh, uh, sorry Guillaume because I'm not doing uh, something on Garangic because I don't have yet interesting things things to say about Garangic uh, so that is very unfortunate so I uh, so, uh, so I took to a look a little at this uh, at this little family of languages called Bai uh, so uh, so the topics so for, uh, the uh, the basic uh, how to say it. the basic uh, context of this uh, talk would be that uh, whether uh, whether the Chinese portion of the vocabulary of Bai is something that is uh, uh, that is derived from all Chinese or does it present uh, archaisms uh, uh, in existence in all Chinese and so in order to, uh, so under this background I did a new reconstruction of Proto Bai there are some uh, still some of the details that are not clear but uh, I think I uh, I think in general uh, I uh, I know the I know the I know my reconstruction for for about uh, ninety percent of the words uh, uh, concerned so I can already give. Uh, a very provisional introduction to this new reconstruction, and so I will try to compare my new proto by with the new old Chinese of uh, Baxter and Sagar. So, uh, for the introduction, uh, uh, most uh, uh, the most um, the majority of the basic words of by uh, look very Chinese. Uh, there are some words that don't look Chinese. Uh, so there are two basic positions uh, on the genetic position of Bai. Uh, either Bai is a uh, non semitic with a lot of Chinese loan words, or Bai is simply a Chinese dialect, uh, albeit a very ancient one. Uh, uh, and uh, however, so uh, Wang Feng in 2006 um, advanced a third position, which says that uh, the uh, Bai is a close cousin of Chinese, so there is Sino Bai group, and Bai forms. Uh, uh, by this, uh, there are forms reconstructed by one form for proto by which are not uh, able to be explained by uh, by any version of old Chinese. So, uh, so that is presented as evidence to to counter these two first uh, these first two positions, and. Uh, 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 Everyone agrees that if Bai is considered as something like Chinese, then it's a very archaic Chinese. So uh, I have some lexical uh, examples presented here. So for Xin and Dao, they are um, used in mainstream Chinese uh, until uh, respectively 13th century and 4th century. So they are not that ancient. And uh, I indeed, indeed, I find these words in uh, in Wa Xiang. So. Uh, Another very very uh, archaic Chinese dialect, uh, but uh, anyway, in in any Chinese dialects that are uh, well known enough to get their way into the uh, into the Xian Dai Han Yu Fang Yan Da Ci Dian, never uh, uh, neither of these four words appear in their right senses. So uh, for e, uh, so to, to put on something to uh, to. To, to wear a piece of clothing and for team uh, to sleep, uh, these by words are imp uh, are impossibly uh, ancient, uh, it's especially for team, uh, which which disappeared even from the written language in Han uh, in Han era texts. So uh, so there is some uh, clearly something not right here, uh, and I think that a by uh, uh, already uh, comes from uh, this the Chinese portion of the Bible vocabulary already comes from a, a somewhat uh, say a somewhat a peripheral uh, uh, conservative dialect of Southern Chinese. Uh, there must be something like that. And so uh, our basic sources uh, are one form. Uh, 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 Two thousand six and uh, 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 in June, uh, two thousand six. So these are two proto bytes which are uh, quite uh, evidently independently uh, executed because the uh, because while the general direction are the same, but the uh, uh, but the uh, concrete solutions adopted are uh, uh, are 
very different. So I don't think the, the two authors know the existence of each other. And uh, uh, so, the, so the basic dialectology of pi is uh, we have uh, what is called a, a bi proper and what is called a western pi. And for the bi proper, you have, a, uh, you have central bi which is spoken by the majority of Pi speakers and some, and some uh, uh, peripheral dialects. There is one that, that is very interesting, which is documented in the, in the book of one called Ma Zhe Long Bai. And uh, uh, we have also a language called Cai Jia, uh, where the, the Chinese portion of vocabulary uh, looks very similar to Bai, but the, um, but the pre Cai Jia or the ETO Cai Jia looks very different from the uh, from the uh, pre Bai. So there are some uh, so so very big, uh, so very probably uh, it's the same superstrate uh, uh, applied on two uh, two different substrates. And so uh, for the tones, uh, everyone knows the uh, everyone knows the uh, correspondence between uh, Bai tones, but the interpretation in terms of uh, comparison with Chinese is not clear. Uh, I don't yet have time to look uh, into this question, but uh, both uh, solutions have some have some defects, and so for now I provisionally so um, subscribe to the solution of Zheng Zhang Shang Fang and of uh, and of Yuan uh, Yuan Ming. So uh, when when you just uh, look at the uh, when you just look at the proto by uh, reconstructed by uh, Wang Feng and Yuan Mingjun, uh, you see that there are a lot of clusters, and they look uh, imminently uh, uh, comparable to all Chinese clusters. Uh, uh, but I'll show that uh, for most of them, <coughs> it's not the case. And, uh, so, uh, so it's e uh, so it's a, an easier matter for Yuan Mingjun because he has uh, uh, learned uh, historical linguistics from the from the Carolinian uh, from the Carolinian consonants back in school. So if you have something, if you have K in this dialect and P in this dialect, then it's a KP. It, 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 uh, it's how Carolinian does things, and, uh, and 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 we couldn't afford him much. Uh, on this one. So for example, the the mher the mher word cluster uh, is a r in some dialects and a m in some dialects uh, because of uh, a simulation uh, uh, from a rounded uh, from a rounded uh, rhyme and uh, uh, there is a something which comes from the r so everything is put together to get m h uh, uh, and I think the I think I think the one form reconstruction for the m h is a r so so you have these uh, cases where when if you compare the two reconstructions the uh, the more likely one will follow but however for the most important clusters uh, there is uh, what I have called here a Bu Mao Ar Fu between uh, Wang Feng and uh, Yuan Mingjun, where you have where you have Pr for Pr, you have a B for B, you have Tr for Str, you have Tr for Tr, uh, you have Kr for Kr, uh, etc. Uh, so uh, uh, so in the first part of my talk, I'll uh, examine I'll examine these uh, clusters one by one. Uh, so. Let's start with the uh, pr cluster. So I put the one form form uh, first and the Yuan form in second. Uh, these clusters uh, are characterized by uh, a p uh, by a p by a bilabial uh, reflex in by proper and the j like reflex in by parallelized reflex in Western by. Uh, some of the most favorite, uh, uh, some of the most famous words with with this correspondence are ba, so that would be paret, and the uh, fun that would be brun in the Baxter cigar reconstruction, and which does not differ uh, much from the previous reconstructions. Uh, so I think that's why they reconstructed uh, br for the uh, for for this correspondence set. But uh, but. Uh, there, there's a dead giveaway uh, for for this because uh, uh, in both reconstruction you have only the pre and never b, so so it has something clearly fishy, fishy here, and uh, also uh, the um, also uh, man, also many of the Chinese uh, 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 comparanda does not have uh, uh, cannot be characterized to have 
uh, are so so for fei lan fei to bark or uh, or this uh, part of the body that the uh, Tibetans call the symbol of femininity. Uh, uh, you, you really you can't have R in the Chinese form, and so, <coughs> and so there's a problem here. And this problem is uh, recognized by Wang Hong himself, who, however, uh, offered is a, it as an example of that uh, by cannot be right. <laughs> so, no Chinese. Okay. So, um, uh, the easy, uh, so the solution is actually quite easy. So, in fact, when you have a b, it's simply b followed by an e. So, for what they, for ba, for example, which they will reconstruct a bra, uh, in fact, it's simply a bia. Now, why do I put a e that uh, that belongs to the rhyme rather than a yo, which belongs to the uh, which belongs to the um, initial uh, is that uh, there are a certain uh, there is a certain class of uh, pro uh, of uh, uh, by initials uh, so so basically uh, when you have j or this b uh, and and these two initials uh, so the j is from g or d which is uh, which are half alive uh, these initials, they only uh, occur, they mainly occur before a certain, uh, uh, before three rhymes, so O, A, and A. Uh, a, uh, so, um, and so uh, later I will reconstruct the prehistory of Ia and Ia, and you, all, you only have Ia in Zhusheng, and you only have Ia with an, either with a nasal spinal or with a Zhusheng, so it's very clear that the, this yod uh, is a secondary development from pre proto by so it should appear, so it should belong to the rhyme. Okay. Uh, now that pr uh, is revised to some kind of a beer, uh, then the problem goes that uh, uh, Wang and Yuan have uh, both uh, very correctly uh, reconstructed, uh, uh, very correctly reconstructed the labial dentals as a beer. Uh, so there is a problem. So if we have pia and pia, uh, who which have a different, uh, which have different uh, modern reflexes, then uh, then in what ways are they different? Well, if we look at the if we look at the words with pia in 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 central by, they always have a v as the rhyme. So. Uh, and if we look at other words uh, where you have vu in central by, they always come from. Uh, 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 you, uh, you look at it and it's nu, yu, shu. Of course, shu is a shu in modern Mandarin. You also have gui from gui, so, uh, uh, and you will say zhu in Chinese. So, so, uh, so, the, so the Chinese comprehend the vu in central by is always yu ish. So, uh, uh, so I would imagine v coming from something which like uh, which is like u, and in fact you have two sets of uh, vowel correspondences for a central by v in other dialects. So either they correspond to either they correspond to front vowels or to o like vowels. So uh, I reconstruct those with front vowel correspondence as uh, u, and the those with u uh, like correspondence. Uh, so when you have central by uh, it comes either from u or u, and uh, this this reconstruction uh, uh, works quite well when you when you look at the words with uh, uh, with uh, labial dentals in in by. So for example, for fei which is bu, uh, you have a bu. For fen bun you have bun. For bi bu you have bu. For fu, uh, so bu, you have bu. This is not uh, very good, but uh, but there is something that I will explain later. And so for for stomach, you have bu. For for the b, you have pu. So uh, so at least uh, my uh, my solution uh, uh, looks like that it would work. And so uh, there are um, two words that merit uh, special attention. So you have liu and uh, ju. Liu has a 
that has a L in Middle Chinese, which corresponds to uh, uh, to uh, uh, LH in Proto Ming. So it should ideally, uh, as I will explain la later, have a G in in Proto Bai, and for Q you have a G in Chinese. So so these two words should uh, should be Gu in, <coughs> in in Central Bai, but in fact you have Fu. Uh, the other difference is that. Uh, uh, when you have real labial dentals, you have uh, the uh, the matter by uh, uh, preserves the original non uh, non labial dental initial. While in while for these two words, uh, even matter by has uh, has um, labial dental initials, and it, uh, and it's and it could not be an. Uh, a borrowing because even in Taixia, which is uh, 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 which is not by but related, you have a fu for six, which cur uh, which uh, contrasts with fu for to fly. So uh, so these two words are uh, belong to another uh, belong to another initial. However, I don't have a good uh, I don't have a good solution for it because uh, we also have gu. Uh, with, which which comes from either chu or ju, uh, which means to sit and to live, uh, uh, with almost the same uh, with the same etymology. So ju is uh, uh, is homon is homophone with ju in 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 every form of Chinese. Yet they are not uh, homophone in Bai. So for now, I uh, I just uh, retain this uh, p thing, but I but, but it's um, most probably uh, incorrect. Mm, so now that uh, vu comes either comes from u and u, uh, we can we can use this uh, hypothesis to uh, to resolve another problem uh, in the in the preceding in the preceding uh, reconstructions of a proto bi. Uh, so uh, there is this kind of words where you uh, uh, we take the ghost for example. Uh, you have vu in in central bi. And you have uh, zhi, uh, in Western Bai. So the air in in Ruben, in LBZ it, it comes from uh, comes from a kind of u. So it's uh, so 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 basically the correspondence is wu uh, versus zhu versus uh, zhi. And if you look at the etymology of this word, it's clear that it comes from uh, it's clear that it comes from a kind of uh, proto bi yu, and uh, you, you have the same set of uh, uh, of Chinese etyma as uh, as what is uh, as what is for the uh, for the yu in the labial dental words. So so I will just reconstruct them as gu qu, uh, gu and vu. Mm -hmm. I'll, I'll explain. i explain uh, the uh, what I think about uh, how the words uh, got in, uh, if you wish, uh, in, in the question time. And so it contrasts with uh, with the words like uh, to sit. Uh, so so this will have. Uh, so this will come from gu, uh, and when you have gu, you have. Uh, Uh, now uh, the now the final uh, uh, now there are three other uh, correspondence sets which are reconstructed as tr tr and the j in the uh, in the different reconstructions. Uh, uh, they are uh, in fact quite uh, easy to uh, uh, to. Uh, there, there is a very clear comp complementary uh, distribution between the three. So, uh, and and all of them are reflected as a t in central bias. So, in one way, uh, it's central bias that uh, that looks more archaic because where where while there are mergers, the mergers uh, there are not uh, complex splits that uh, uh, that mm, depend on the depend on the rhyme. So, so basically, uh, the 
the conclusion of this uh, of this new proto buy is that uh, uh, you can you can just use central buy you can just use central buy in the comparison with a few caveats. So a central buy z could come from u and u, and a central buy z could either come from z or j. Uh, but that but that's all. A central buy g could come from g and g, uh, and for these things you go to the dialects. But uh, otherwise the uh, 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 m uh, many in the much in the variation in the dialects are not meaningful. There, uh, there might be some, but I'll look that into that later. So now, uh, 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 so now, uh, uh, what uh, what I have understood from the preceding reconstructions is that uh, you can just basically take central by as uh, uh, as almost the same thing as proto by. Uh, however, uh, uh, so. So now the revolution is done. The eggs are broken. So, so we would like to see some of the omelets. Uh, so, so, so we have two of, uh, of uh, the omelets, uh, which which concern rather uh, the evolution from a pre proto buy to a uh, proto buy, which is almost the same thing as in, as modern central buy. So first we have uh, this vowel. Uh, uh, which I reconstruct following one point as a. Uh, so in central by, in some dialects you have a, in some dialects, in some dialects you have er. Uh, you have some, you have what is kind of reconstructed as er, uh, and uh, I, I have forgotten to put the examples here, but most of them come from Chinese art. So, so ultimately they, they come from Chinese. Uh, so there, there is a, a connection here uh, between the rotic, uh, between the R colored, uh, between the R colored vowel of of some central by dialect and uh, and the R of uh, and the R of uh, all Chinese. Uh, however, uh, as some of the some of these words with uh, with proto by a uh, has no r in Chinese. So, for example, uh, 名, 名字的名, 然后丁, 丁字的丁, uh, nails, 赤, uh, red, uh, 赤壁, 赤壁之战的赤壁, uh, b is for uh, b is for uh, 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 not really walls, but uh, 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 the how do you call that? So. The thing is that uh, for uh, these uh, for these words where you have uh, where you have uh, proto by a which corresponds to uh, which corresponds to uh, Chinese elements that has no r's, uh, they uh, they are either, they have either a nasal they have either a nasal coda reflected as a nasalization in modern by or they are Zhushan words. So what the, uh, um, and if you look at the etymology, they come either from n or ek, uh, either in either in Middle Chinese or in Old Chinese. So uh, I will reconstruct uh, this uh, sound uh, th these two sound changes, yang and yak, um, which come from n and ek. So that's why you have, for example, ding, which is jia in bai, because. Uh, uh, because ding becomes a dia, uh, which uh, where the where the secondary yod, uh, uh, where the secondary yod, uh, palatizes the the original the to uh, So, um, uh, uh, I I uh, I also um, succeeded in in the so uh, finding an etymology for a problem. For a problematic word, which is gap to catch, because uh, uh, this is etymologized as uh, uh, as a the ge, but ge is a second division word, which uh, always have a in proto by uh, 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 an uvular in proto by but this uh, doesn't have uvulars. Uh, so uh, and also in ge, it doesn't mean to catch uh, ge, which is, uh, nobody knows what ge, ge which is means. And uh, aside from this. Aside from this example, ge uh, simply means to go to somewhere. For example, in uh, 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 in the in the Chinese version of the uh, uh, in the Catholic version of the Lord's Prayer, it said "ar guo ling ge" for uh, for that kingdom come. And so, 
uh, I found another word, uh, sadly, in the dictionary, uh, which is uh, ji, so gip, uh, so, uh, so the former correspondence and the, uh, and the meaning is perfect, but it's a, dic it's a dictionary word which uh, only exists in shou wen jie, zi in guang yun, etc. So not that good, but better than good anyway. Uh, the other thing that uh, that uh, that is difficult is the uh, the the form yeah uh, for eight is uh, this is this, thank you. this is simply not logical and uh, and however uh, when you have app words uh, in uh, in Zhu Sheng, it always come. Uh, uh, it never come from a T, a word that ends in T. So, uh, so I hypothesize that Bia uh, come from uh, a bat, which of course uh, originally comes from bread. Uh, and there are uh, a couple of other examples. So Sha and Shui Ta the Ta otters. And uh, and for peace, you have you have ya and ya, which looks like the same thing, but I'm not that sure. And when you have a uvular initial, it has the more regular treatment. And so so this is a, a brief presentation of my new protobi, which is just the same thing as uh, a modern central bi. And uh, finally, uh, uh, let's take a look at the comparison with Chinese. Uh, so first, uh, there there is uh, there are high tone, there are high register sonorants and low register sonorants in protobi, but apparently uh, all Chinese uh, all Chinese words with uh, sonorants are reflected as high tone sonor are reflected at high tone sonorants, uh, irrespective uh, whether uh, proto mean has high tone or low low tone sonorants. So uh, uh, you have only you have only four more and. Uh, 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 and uh, yin in this example, which are probably cultural words, uh, so uh, this is not very meaningful. Uh, however, the reflexes of a Chinese limu is very interesting. Um, so, from liu to li, you have a ge, ge, and ye, which is a very late uh, parallelization of ge in bai, and you have le in jian yang. And you have uh, and you have non prefix uh, r in in Baxter Sagar. Uh, for force and sharp, uh, I think uh, I think uh, there are other mean dialects with uh, with a s or with high tone forms. So f uh, for which reason Baxter Sagar reconstructed krk and uh, uh, something reads. And uh, uh, so, so these are exceptions, but uh, anyway, Tianya had Tianya had this, uh, uh, probably from uh, literary borrowings. On the other hand, when you have g in or when you have g in bai, uh, you always have s in jian yang with uh, with prefix with prefix uh, r's in Chinese. Uh, it doesn't work for the word for plow, uh, which has a l which has a l in jian yang, and I have uh, also looked at the ke jia. It has a low toned uh, kingsheng. So uh, I don't know about this one, but anyway, so so the correspondence is uh, quite solid. Uh, one of the more interesting thing is that uh, uh, for the word snake, uh, which Baxter Sagar reconstructed uh, with uh, unclear uh, 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 voiceless R, I, I I don't know why, but uh, but it. Uh, but it uh, is in perfect accordance uh, uh, with the by data because in proto by now uh, corrected uh, it has q and uh, so uh, so so you have a nice g g k for old chinese r and the uh, prefix r and uh, uh, sorry there is a typo here so for uh, a voiceless for voiceless r's uh, what this means in terms of phonetic reality of late old Chinese sonorants uh, uh, is a matter of discussion, but I think it's highly interesting. And uh, the other, the other thing in, of uh, interest is that you have you have three cases where you have a uvulus in bai, which corresponds into a sandong, uh, into sandong rhymes in Chinese. Uh, there is a yin zi de yin. Uh, which has a Baxter Sagar uh, uvular, and you have a Jin Tian de Jin, thank you, and the Huang Jin de Jin, which means uh, copper in Bai and uh, gold in Cai Jia. 
uh, these two also have uh, viewers in protobi. Uh, so uh, the, the, the paleographers think that uh, the, the words Qing and Qing are written uh, with this phonetic, uh, with this phonetic uh, component, uh, which exists, for example, also in Yin Yin. So, so, the, so there is a Yin, Yin Mu, Jian Mu uh, contact here, which might point to other, uh, to other uh, universe uh, in the, in the Baxter cigar system, while they are not reconstructing the current one. So, uh, so the uh, finally, there are a few points of uh, mm, a few miscellaneous uh, points of interest. So there is Qing, which has Ch in proto uh, which corresponds to Zhang Zhu uh, in Chinese. So it's like a, so it's like a Cheng in it will correspond to Cheng in modern Chinese. I, so I still have that. Okay. Mm, so that. Mm, uh, this would mean that uh, it, uh, it would not worth the time to really uh, reconstruct different things for palatal, uh, for affricating and non-affricating Chinese skirts. <coughs> Sorry. And finally, uh, uh, the, uh, so, so you have brain for the, all the in previous protobites, but now you have bean. And it corresponds to the uh, central dialect form in Shiming. So in Shiming, it says that uh, in Yan Yu Si Heng, it is uh, pronounced uh, with, uh, with uh, in Yan Yu Si, it is pronounced with Heng Kao, B E E and He Chuan, M mm, B I M, um, uh, uh, unlike B I M in, in, in Shandong dialect. And so, uh, and so uh, Bai has the central dialect form for Tian and uh, uh, possibly, but it's not uh, that sure, uh, for Xi, which is Xian in, in Hanwei, in Hanwei poem, uh, in Hanwei poetry. So uh, apparently compared with, main, uh, with modern mainstream Chinese, Bai consistently show the features belonging to the archaic central dialect, while, uh, while modern uh, mainstream Chinese uh, show forms belonging to the archaic Shandong dialect. Uh, and, and that's all I wanted to say. Thank you.